Welcome, friends. I hope you're all having a blessed day. I hope you're enjoying your day and doing something for yourself that brings you some happiness. This video is a little vlog style of our day in Shreveport, Louisiana for yesterday when we went for my doctor's appointment. And so we ended up doing something fun that I thought would make a great video. Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy's YouTube channel. I'm Kayla. And I'm Big Daddy. Just so you don't get confused about who's <laughs> who. <laughs> Today we are in Shreveport, Louisiana. I had a doctor's appointment with my pain pump doctor. I have a Medtronic pain pump on my right side, in my abdomen. And so it has morphine in it and they upped that by 10%. So, that's good. And we don't have to come back for a month. Five weeks. Five weeks. Yeah. So, that's very good that we're not coming every other week anymore. So, that'll be um, just right, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are going to do a little running around in Shreveport today. We are about to go in Posadas. I was trying to see if you could see the building. Um Anyway, that's where we're headed in right now. And so we're going to take you around a little bit on Shreveport and see what all we can find to do today. Mm -hmm. So we decided to eat at Posadas. That's a Mexican restaurant in Shreveport and Bossier. I think this one is in Bossier, actually. We have ate at this restaurant since our kids were very small. Um, just over the years, it's always been one of our favorite places to eat in Shreveport or Bossier. And um, one of the waitresses there actually has been there for like 20-something years. And so she's familiar with us, even though we don't live there. We always ask for Odessa. And it's just a fun place to eat. It's um, very good food. Big Daddy had a hankering for some posadas. So that's where we decided to go. And just giving you a shot of the restaurant, just to give you a little idea of the atmosphere in there. It's very laid back, very friendly, and we just love it there. <laughs> There's Big Daddy looking at the menu like he doesn't know what they already have. <laughs> we always say that to each other. Anyway, it was really good. And so then we decided to go to the aquarium. There is an aquarium in Shreveport that we have never been to. We used to take our kids to the science museum all the time. But by the time they grew up and got lives of their own, they opened an aquarium. And we just had never went, even though we've talked about it plenty of times. So they had lots and lots of just... Um, flowers and bushes i don't even know what all kinds of flowers is out there but it was a beautiful setting and so that tells a little bit about the flowers that we are looking at but it was hot so i wanted to get on inside big daddy was like i thought you was right behind me <laughs> i said i stopped <laughs> that purple was really pretty down there i'm not sure what it was but Yep, this is our first time to go to this aquarium. As our kids grew up and we traveled for doctor's appointments and different things, we always went to aquarium in whatever town we were in. We would look to see if they had an aquarium. So these were just some pretty fish as soon as we went in. Love those bright yellow fish. If you've been here any time, you know that my favorite color is yellow, and so those yellow fish were speaking to me. Big Daddy would love an aquarium. He wants a saltwater aquarium, which I don't see happening, but they are fun to watch. And I love that yellow and silver together on those fish. They were beautiful. You know, it wasn't a whole lot of yellow, but that silver and yellow together was just beautiful. So there was a family coming up behind us that had small children, and so I was trying to get a little bit ahead of them. 
um, not because I didn't want to be around the children, just I didn't want to video their children without permission, of course, and so I was just trying to get ahead of them so their children wouldn't be in my videos, so I was kind of speeding through this, and Big Daddy was taking his time, and he's like, why are you in a hurry? I said, well, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm just trying to get ahead of them so I'm not videoing them. But it was just fun seeing all the fish and it was relaxing. Fish are mesmerizing to me. There was a fish I was trying to get on video right there. That was a beautiful sucker right there. <laughs> I think I might have got him on the back side as I went around. Yep, there's one of, not the same one, but one just like him. There's some oxalotls. No, my kids had a little pet, something like an oxalotl, but we called it a mud puppy when they were little. And so, I don't know if it was an oxalotl or if a mud puppy something different. I'll have to look that up and find out. Now, we went outside. The next door led us outside to a Louisiana exhibit. Let me tell you, they were piping some humidity in there. Oh, my goodness. As if it wasn't a hot enough day, this little area, which was a very nice setup, but the humidity in there was out of this world. <laughs> like, the humidity outside when we parked the car was not as bad as the humidity they were creating in this little section but just look how lovely that is I mean it was so clean and just beautiful lots of fish down there turtles everywhere I don't know how well you can see everything there but it was very beautiful I just wish it hadn't have been so sticky hot I mean I was like pouring sweat immediately out there <laughs> I kept having to walk around Big Daddy to move on because I think he would have just sat there and watched forever. But this was a really nice setup that they had. Lots of little waterfalls and just the fish swimming around. So, you know, um wildlife not wildlife the plant life i'm not sure what you would call that the plant life was just gorgeous well taken care of and just very pleasing to look at they had different little exhibits for kids i think they could do some mining or something along there which you know my kids would have loved back in the day was just trying to get a little video of it to show kind of what it was and I really wasn't sure what it was until after I had filmed and then showed this part and I was like oh okay they're mining for little stones is what you can do so this was kind of a little large area I mean it wasn't huge but you can see that praying mantis, metal praying mantis right out there. I'm not sure what wildlife was in that area. I didn't see anything and I was ready to kind of move on. <laughs> Again, I think Big Daddy would have stood there for a while. I was kind of trying to hurry through because it was hot. I really tried not to get people, but sometimes, you know, you just can't help it. There was a whole little area down there that I did not go down to. Um... 
I was just about to pass out from the heat. <laughs> and then there's the alligators, a lot of little baby alligators. Which is something you can just see on the side of the road here, so. I was trying to see if there was other little animals and things around. Um, that I was missing, but I don't think it was. It was a lot of different little activity tables and things like that for children. I think that had a lot of fish in it, but um, I figured it's fish I've seen before. <laughs> and like I said, it was so hot, the humidity was so high, and in a minute I'm gonna walk up to this tank and when I walked up to that tank it's a round tank with a plexiglass this tank right here and the plexiglass is bent rounded and I don't know that made me so dizzy I almost passed out so we got on inside and now we're at the little petting tanks you can reach down if you wash your hands you could reach down and pet the little creatures in these tanks. We did not pet anything. But at this point, I was still pretty dizzy from just the heat, humidity, and walking up to that tank, and it really messed with my vision. And I was ready to just go sit down somewhere. But there was tons of starfish in there that you could pet. And the lady was talking, and she was telling us all about them. Um, all the information that you could possibly want to know about starfish. And I can't remember what these were called. But she was telling us all about them. It was a very nice setup. Very nice. The floor was wet very very wet and so I was trying to be very careful not to slip so I did not want to fall and get hurt and I also was like telling Big Daddy be careful be careful don't fall <laughs> he was probably thinking shut up woman <laughs> but I did not want either one of us to fall and get hurt and so I was trying to be super careful with that wet floor it felt a little slick. But at least this part was super air conditioned and it was cool. Very comfortable in there. I was just worried about the floor. So we went on through. And it got dark. But there was some tanks. They were kind of lit up, and you could see different things in there. And I don't remember what those were called either. And there was something black next to the black wall, and I really could barely see it. And I know you can't see it on the video, but you saw Big Daddy point it out. Because I was like, where? Where is it at? <laughs> we had such a fun day. This was so relaxing to walk through here. And just enjoy. Here is a little shark swimming over above us and just all kinds of fish. But you know, I was trying to get the sharks. But yeah, that was cool. Which we've been to lots of aquariums that have the little tunnels like this that you walk through and the sharks and fish are swimming around above you and everything. But I can just imagine how mesmerized little kids are walking through that and seeing all of that. I was mesmerized too. It was people coming up behind us, so kind of skedaddled on through, but... I really could have stood there. I could have parked a chair right there. <laughs> and sat and watched that for a long time. And then this part was really pretty. That 
pond or tank or whatever you want to call it it's a petting tank so you can pet stingrays and sharks and you can feed them there was a lot going on in there lots of stingrays just swimming around coming up saying are you gonna feed me are you gonna feed me <laughs> and lots of little sharks swimming around um the kid over beside me i kind of got sidetracked and was watching him instead of where my camera was pointed because <laughs> he was actually petting them i don't know that he was feeding them but he was petting them So it was a cool little setup. They had it fixed really nice. And it was just kind of cool watching the stingrays, which I have seen stingrays before in the ocean. Thankfully, I have never seen a shark in the ocean. I don't want to see a shark in the ocean. <laughs> But it was just nice sitting there watching them flutter around. It's very magical. Then I had to a look at these teeth and no thank you. No thank you. I'll pass. <laughs> look at all those layers of teeth. Ugh. Yeah, I'll pass. Not interested in participating in that game. No, it's just a model that they had set up there, but. And that floor was a little bit wet, too. So, it's just trying to be careful not to slip. But it was a cool little place. We, we enjoyed our day, like I said. I enjoyed just hanging out with Big Daddy. Which I don't ever care what we do. We have fun just hanging out, joking and goofing off. Anyway, no matter what we do. But this was something different to do. And fun. So it really got him to wanting to set up a little fish tank. And Elijah did leave a little fish tank here when he left. And so Big Daddy wants to get that out and put some fish in it. It's a small, small tank, so I think he plans to do that. Not salt water, just regular fish. So this was jellyfish. The sign on it said, look, do not touch or something like that. And so it was just a ton of jellyfish and they were just floating around. Just floating around. But it was a lot of them. Can you see how many's there? And this was a long setup. Like it was very long. <clears throat> I don't know if I got a shot to show how long it was or not. But it was pretty long. And it was full of jellyfish. I'm not sure what was in all these little porthole little aquariums, but there was different things swimming around, and it was probably one big tank back there and just little portholes cut out at different sections. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Lots of information on the walls to read. <clears throat> To read and you know learn about what you were looking at and I would have done all that with my kids when they were little but not today <laughs> such pretty tanks and actually you could crawl you could get down on the floor and crawl in and come up inside that bubble 
And I tried to talk Big Daddy into doing it. <laughs> he said, I don't think so. Also, at the Oxalotl tank, you could have done the same thing. And he was like, you can crawl in there and take some photos from the inside. Like, uh, nope. This is one thing we did stop and do. It was um, a big magnifying glass type thing. And it showed what you were looking at up on the screen. And so I just sat and filmed that a little bit while Big Daddy turned it. And this is, <clears throat> this is exactly what Elijah would have enjoyed when he was little. We had a very nice mag my magnifying microscope when he was little. And so I would set it up in the kitchen. And he would spend a whole day just looking at all kinds of things under the microscope and he would draw out what he saw and label them and stuff like that like salt and sugar and water and uh, any kind of spices or food or he would go outside and get water in the pond I mean in the bayou behind our house or in a ditch or sometimes we'd ride down the road to a little bayou and get some water and he would spend a whole day just comparing the different waters and comparing it to our drinking water and just stuff like that. He loved science when he was little. And so he was always doing stuff like that. But I would set him up with anything and everything he could want to do. And he would spend a whole day just looking at stuff through the microscope. And so this brought back a lot of memories for me thinking about him when he was little. Now, I could have parked a chair and sat right here and watched these for hours. Um, I guess it's just a jellyfish, and they were just floating around. And, yeah, that would have been very relaxing to just sit there and watch them. The water was super blue. They were white with a yellowish tint. Some of them look more yellow than others. And so it was very beautiful. Very beautiful. Just watching those float around. And I guess they were swimming. Aren't they gorgeous? And the water just looks so pretty. Super clean. I know that takes a lot of work. To keep those tanks clean like that. Yeah, it was fun just watching all that. So pretty. I could have sat there. If I had a chair, <laughs> I could have sat there for hours just watching those. But we had a very nice day. It was so much fun. We enjoyed it. I'm glad we went. It's not something we would do, you know, that often. Because once you go, you go. But we did enjoy it. And it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did go. I enjoyed spending the time with my honey bunny. And we are at the end of our tour now. Just checking out, seeing what those little things on the ceiling was. A lot of crawfish right there. They had just displays everywhere. It was it was mesmerizing. Lots of stuff to look at and see and do and lots of little activities on the walls along the way. Oh, it would be a great fun place for children. But Big Daddy and I enjoyed it ourselves. It was a lot of fun. And like I said, I'm glad that we went. Thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of the aquarium in Shreveport, Louisiana. I appreciate you coming along with us. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. It's a beautiful day to enjoy your life. No matter what your circumstances are, find something that makes you happy today and enjoy.